And Ron Darling doing the pitching. And before we get ready to go, let's spend a moment with Tim McCarver as he talked with Kevin Bass, the colorful right fielder for the Houston Astros. Here's their conversation. The wind seems to be blowing straight in, but you never know. That's banged over the pitcher's mound, out into center field. Tuffle made a run at it and couldn't flag it. And so Hatcher now hitting in the number two spot has a base hit. Hatcher goes, pitch, good pitch to throw on. Carter fires it down and he's safe. And Rafael Santana did not apply a quick tag. Kind of a slow tag there. Walling loops one to right. It's going to drop for a base hit. Hatcher turns. He's coming home. Strawberry whips it back in, and it's too late. And Houston gets the lead one to nothing as Walling drives in Hatcher from second base. Break three. Breaking pitch looking inside corner. left center field for him and he goes the other way into the hole at shortstop into left field for a base hit here comes Walling around third and he will score it's two nothing Houston so the stolen base by Hatcher and if you will Lynn Davis second base throw back on in the got it Bob was also the first pitcher to shut out the Mets this year. He beat them three to nothing. And then less than 48 hours later came back and beat the Mets in relief. He went around. And ball four. The first base, his first time up. And he hits the ball well. Going deep to right center field. He it's gone. A two run home run by Bill Doran, and it's 4 0 Houston. Well, Frankie Frisch embedded in baseball people's mind. Runner goes. Carter's throw. Hatcher's two for two. <laughs> Walling swings and misses and strikes out to end the inning. But the Houston Astros get two more, and after an inning and a half in game three, they lead four Back to down nine. and plunk you. Swings and misses. He struck out on a pitch that was out of the strike zone. You're trying to steal second. Now Cruz 3-2. He struck out. He went too far. Frank Pulley called him out right away. He tried to check on it. Thought he likes to come in on, on the ball. Yep. And it's easier to come in than go back. Well, academically struck him out. And now the pitcher Nepper will come to the plate. Struck out two in a row. He now has in the strike zone. Yep, beat it on the ground. Santana comes across, can't glove it. Goes over the glove and out into center, and Davis is on. Ball is hit sharply toward the corner and right. Strawberry going, going, going. Fine catch. Bounces off the wall and comes away with it. Darrell Strawberry turns in a fine play in the corner in right field to retire the side. The Astros strand Glenn Davis. They have left four on, but they lead in the ball game four to nothing. As a pinch hitter, struck out down in Houston, but he nails this one up the middle for a base hit. And we will have a new pitcher for the Mets in the top of the sixth inning. Second base from Doran flags it down. Sounded like uh, Mookie broke his bat and uh, didn't have a whole lot on it. 
So the sides retired, the Mets are turned away. Four then he was sent to the bullpen for about eight appearances. And turned out he had the same record that he had last year, 10 and 7. The home run ball really jumped up and bit him early. Matter of fact, his first 15 and two thirds innings this year, he allowed eight home runs. As Oklahoma's going to run him out of town. The story about Fred Akers being in trouble with his job. That's a bouncing ball tonight at third. Goes to second one. Back to first. Double play. Hernandez had the ball in front of him and bouncing about three feet from him and handled it as if it had been right on the number. High chop. Rolling can't get it over his head. And Mitchell takes a big turn at first and then holds on as Cruz hustled the ball back in. And so the Mets now pitch coming. Looper out into short center field. Hatcher can't get to it. Ball dropped to a base hit. Bouncer toward the shortstop. Underneath the glove of Reynolds. Mitchell coming around third. He will score. Up facing Nepper. It is now a four to one ball game. Strawberry hits it high in the air to right. Fast to the wall. It's gone. The score is tied. With a pair of singles in today's ball game. Puts it on the ground. Third baseman Knight comes in, doesn't get a handle, throws it away. Ball goes skittering down the right field line. Strawberry retrieves, and Doran, the lead runner, moves all the way to third. Well, it'll probably Denny Walling at the plate hits it sharply second baseman Tuffle goes to Santana back to first safe at first base of the run score home first and you, when infielders are in double play situations you're back to get the double play he appeared to be out but that really has nothing to do with it no, Tim Tuffle field. Davis, 3 2 count on Lenny Dykstra. Into that tight crouch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Hit the center field. Hatcher drifts back, makes the catch. And uh, Nepper gets out of the inning, getting a very dangerous man on a fly ball to center field. And Mookie Wilson moves over to left field, and Gavin Mitchell leaves the lineup. Jesse eight and six on the year. He pitched a perfect inning, as Keith said earlier, at the Astrodome, striking out one. As a pinch hitter as well. You might see Thon and Lopes both if somebody gets on. Cruz out on a pitch on the outside corner, call strike three. Dave Smith is now up in the bullpen. Back to the mound. Behind the back grab by Kerfell, and he throws out Carter. <laughs> Well, you got to love it. That's all there is to <laughs> it. I mean. Struck him out. Hatcher goes. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Side retired. So it's 5-4 going to the bottom of the ninth inning. Back after this commercial message and a word from your local station. Four. Back went up for the first time in the ball game. All three left handed. Ball is punt hit by back. Roll toward the first baseman and back to the Lanier is 
is going to scream about it as to whether or not he left. They're going to say that he hit the right. Bass going back. Going back. It's gone. 